Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news live from Bahrain International with me, Danielle Deporto. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree 82 for this year, cancelling the Information Affairs Authority and tasking the Ministry of Information Affairs to assume all the jurisdictions stipulated in the relevant laws, edicts and regulations regarding information affairs. He also issued Royal Decree 83 for this year, restructuring the Ministry of Information Affairs under the Ministry of Information. His Majesty then issued Royal Decree 84 for this year, establishing and reorganizing the National Communication Center affiliated to the Ministry of Information Affairs. Wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, SCW, Her Royal Highness Princess Abicha bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa addressed the Bahraini Women's Day celebrations, stating that Bahrain has excelled at women's empowerment. This year, Bahraini Women's Day is celebrated under the theme Women in the Legal and Judicial Fields. Her Royal Highness affirmed that the accomplishments since the establishment of SCW 15 years ago reflects the insightful vision of His Majesty the King and his endorsement of the SCW as one of the pillars of the democratic reforms. She affirmed that Bahraini women are an integral part of comprehensive development and national economic growth, and that this participation as fully qualified citizens is supported by state institutions and the law. Princess Abicha highlighted that the yearly Bahraini Women's Day is a national occasion that is celebrated with the Kingdom's National Days to mark Bahraini female workers' accomplishments and confirm their ability to continually develop. She also expressed gratitude and appreciation to the Constitutional Court, the Supreme Judicial Council, the Public Prosecution, the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, the Legislation and Legal Opinion Authority and all the affiliates of these bodies, as well as civil society organizations in this field and women's societies, whose efforts have all contributed to activating this year's Bahraini Women's Day to achieve the aspired goals. She highlighted the support of the legal and judicial institutions in boosting the position of women working in the field, which has had a great impact in encouraging the forwards march and removing obstacles to progress in advancing comprehensive development in the Kingdom. Her Royal Highness expressed her pride in women working in all fields who have deservedly assumed leading administrative and political decision-making positions, citing the need to build upon present accomplishments to retain a high status at the local, regional and international levels. The Kingdom is today celebrating Bahraini Women's Day, which this year marks the achievements of female workers in the judicial and legal fields. Bahraini women have made large strides in all fields and have become MPs, ambassadors, ministers and also judges. More in this report. Bahrain is marking this year the accomplishments of women in the legal and judicial fields, which is the theme of Bahraini Women's Day 2016. Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, said that Bahraini women have proven outstanding ability to assume their leading role and attained many achievements which have reflected positively on their performance in the legal and judicial field. The support of the wise leadership to female workers in the judicial and legal fields help Bahraini women flourish in this sector because the justice and legal fields are not far from development and they are considered as a vital field for innovation and excellence. And the Bahrain women are attracted to work in legal and justice sectors because it's a field for excellence and innovation and progress. And these elements stimulate Bahrain women for more effort. Since the 1970s, Bahraini women have held numerous posts in the legal sector and reached the posts of chief prosecutor and judge. This year's theme is an opportunity to highlight Bahraini women's success stories in the sector and identify the available chances to motivate women and attract them in order to increase women's representation in the legal and judicial sector. The increased percentage of women working in the field of justice and law is a natural result of available environment and the equality of opportunities. Uh, furthermore, the selection of people who are working in these fields based on the excellence of applicants and record shows how, mo how women prove their, their, themselves in this area. Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika affirmed that Bahraini women's constant keenness on entering the legal and judicial field is a commitment to the sustainability of their participation which established themselves as a necessary option in terms of competence and experience. This reflects the tremendous efforts being exerted to integrate women's need in the national development process, 
being partners that deserve to contribute to the kingdom's national building and modernization. The decision by the Supreme Council for Women to celebrate women in the legal and judicial field provides encouragement to women empowerment and is considered a good opportunity to highlight the national efforts which enhanced women's participation. Meanwhile, Chairman of the Legislation and Legal Opinion Commission, Advisor Abdullah al congratulated Bahraini women on the occasion and confirmed they have proven themselves in the judicial, in the judicial fields. Firstly, let me to congratulate uh, Bahraini uh, women on their day and uh, I would like just to uh, emphasize on their role in judicial and legal uh, fields. Uh, Bahraini women has proved themselves throughout the history ever since they started in this field till today. They've shown a great deal in, 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 field, in the legal field in uh, judiciary, in the Constitution Court, in the Legislation and Legal Opinion Commission. They are doing well and they are giving support to the other. They are training our uh, trainee uh, students here in this department, giving the legal opinion to the government, to the parliament. This support wouldn't be there unless the uh, Supreme Council for Women given Bahraini women this full support ever since they started till now, and we are expect them to do a great job in the future, and we are relying on them in our department here in Legislation and Legal Opinion Commission, uh, women uh, rolling now the, uh, uh, the uh, all legal opinion to be given from this department. It has great deal with the uh, uh, women support and as well in the, in the uh, uh, drafting the laws. So uh, it is indeed has good rule in this, in this regards. His Highness, the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council of Women, Princess Abicha bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, on the occasion of Bahraini Women's Day. His Highness stressed that the support of Her Royal Highness, President of the Supreme Council to Bahraini Women, contributed to the emergence of distinctive female characters. Sheikh Nasser affirmed Bahraini support under the directives of the wise leadership to working women, highlighting Bahraini women's achievements in various fields. He expressed pride in Bahraini women who contributed to enhancing the march of development in the kingdom. His Highness stated that celebrating Bahraini Women's Day reflects the Supreme Council of Women's keenness on highlighting the contributions of Bahraini women in various sectors, adding that dictating Bahraini Women's Day this year to legal and judicial female working professionals proves their achievements in these fields. Sheikh Nasser wishes Bahaini women further success in their positions so as to achieve the best interests of the kingdom. His Highness, the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, congratulated the President of the United Arab Emirates, the UAE, Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and the Deputy President and Prime Minister of the UAE and Emir of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, on their country's National Day. His Highness noted that the UAE's National Day is an occasion that reminds us of the forefathers who founded the country and Gulf Cooperation Council countries and who drafted the aspirations of their people. Sheikh Nasser added that everyone admires and appreciates the cultural growth and development movement in the UAE, hailing its external and internal policies and its leaders, who were able to achieve prosperity and development in their country and enhance the economy, security and stability in the region. His Highness affirmed that the UAE continues to steadily grow, politically, economically, socially and culturally, transferring the country to the advanced stages of development in all fields. He wished the UAE success and further development and growth. President of the University of Bahrain, Dr. Riyad Yusuf Hamza, held a meeting at the university with over 200 partners from the private sector. The meeting was organized to reinforce scientific research in order to serve the development march in the kingdom. Dr. Hamza noted that the private sector in Bahrain has always supported the University of Bahrain in all fields. For his part, Dean of Scientific Research at the university, Dr. Mohamed Rida, stressed the university's keenness in involving the private sector in conducting research studies, due to the positive results of such studies 
in reinforcing the university's position in international rankings and finding solutions to problems in specialized professional sectors. President of Al-Khahiji Group, Abdullah Al-Khahiji, delivered the partner's speech in which he affirmed, affirmed support to the University of Bahrain as it is a national institution that helps to develop the country.